Hey y'all, it's Courtney and I am back with another video and I know I've been posting a bunch of silly little videos recently like just you know this and that um but today uh, before I even start I'm just gonna say it trigger warning today is a serious video it is a heavy topic it is not a ha ha kiki one this is something that is triggering so if you are bothered by um, trafficking, kidnapping, or um, if you're bothered by Pedialyte, that's the new word, guys. Um, instead of saying P-E-D-O, it's Pedialyte now because I know that I'm not um, monetized, but if I ever do get monetized, they're obviously, I think they look back through your old videos, and I would never get monetized saying P-E-D-O over and over and over again in my videos. Um, I mean, I guess I don't really make that many videos about that subject, but I have before, so, um, let's, let's try to make that a trend. Uh, you know, let's, let's tell Chris Hansen, since he's being censored because he uses the word pred, pred, a lot. Um, he had to make a whole new channel because he was being censored on his old channel for using the pred word. So, let's, let's say Pedialyte now. Um, so yeah, if you are bothered by anything in the realm of abuse, trafficking, and you know what kind of trafficking I mean, um, children, anything like that, just go ahead and click off this video. I'm not going to be mad at you. I understand. Um, just... You guys know that I my channel is a mixed bag. It's, it's something different every time. If this one's not for you, I get it. Um, just come back next time, and I'm sure I'll have something that you'll enjoy. Uh, and I'll see you next time, and I love ya. But anyways, um, if you stay, today, I want to talk about Pedialyte rings. I Yesterday, I got recommended this video. And uh, I like to watch a lot of true crime and like horror and anything creepy pastas and anything on the creepy weird you know conspiracy theories and all that. You guys know what what side of YouTube I'm talking about. Anything um, weird, unnatural, you know, un unexplained. I'm into it. I enjoy listening to it, learning about it, all of it. Um, so I got recommended this, um, it was a clip, it was a 38 minute clip, but it was a clip, uh, from a live stream, it was either a live stream or a, um, what are those called? A lot of YouTubers, oh oops, oh, upside down, a lot of YouTubers have them now, um, podcast, it was either like a pod, I mean it was filmed though, so it was probably just a live stream um but anyways it was a live stream and then it was clipped um and it was talking about just one topic and uh his name was sean atwood i've never watched him before but i went ahead and subscribed because i liked what they were talking about i really enjoyed listening to it um and he was interviewing a man or having a conversation with a man named david ick I-C-K-E. I don't know if that's how you say it. Ick. I'm not sure. Uh, I-C-K-E. However that said, sorry if I butcher that name. Um, but I looked into him a little bit more and I went ahead and subscribed to him too. And from reading the titles on um, his channel, I'm guessing if anybody has heard of him, they're going to automatically go to conspiracy theorists or conspiracy theories. Um... And that's really a whole nother can of worms that I don't want to get into in this video because obvi for, for obvious reasons. Uh, I'm ADD as fuck, and if I start getting talking about that stuff, I'll never get the point out. Um, and with conspiracy theories, you're either here, it's, it's kind of like with political views. You either believe that it's too strange to be fiction, or it's too, you know, it's one or the other. You either believe that it's too crazy of a story to be a lie or too crazy of a story to be real. 
uh, and just like with my political views, I'm kind of on both sides. Uh, there's certain ones that I'm like, oh, yeah, I believe that 100%, and then there's other ones that I'm like, come on now, um, and I, you know, don't believe a bit of it. But this one, in particular, is not a conspiracy theory. Um, this man's been writing about this stuff for a long, long time, and a lot of what he's written has came full circle and turned out to be true. Um, so he does have a le level of legitimacy um, in what he's talking about, at least in this instance. I don't know about the other things because I haven't taken the time yet to actually watch his channel, so I'm not going to say this dude's legit, like, everything he says is true, because I don't know that. Um, but in this particular instance, this is proven um, to have happened. There is a man named Jam Jimmy Seville, or Seville, or S S A V I L E. It's either Seville or Seville or something similar like that. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people have heard of him. Um, he was a disc jockey uh, in the UK. Uh, I forget exactly where, but in the UK, he was very popular. Um, and he. He, what's the word I'm looking for? He, he got kids for, to disperse to, um, the rich and famous, you know? Um, that's how he, he was a dish jockey and he had more than one property and lots of exotic vehicles and you know how how would a dish jockey afford all these luxurious things um well it's simple he was kidnapping children and um selling them off uh trafficking them to celebrities and tv personalities and um anybody that could afford it basically put it simply um and just it's just really been bothering me that story that I listened to about this guy because these people are being protected just like Epstein until he got caught he was protected because listen if he gets caught that means that every celebrity that he has ties to and has trafficked a child or you know sold a child to is going to get caught too. So they want to protect this guy because they don't want to get caught. They have to watch his back to watch their own back. So he's being protected. And he was protected for a long time. I don't I he it, it took until after his death for everything to come out about him. He never these people never even got justice for what was done to them. This man was in tight with the royal family. They knew. And nobody cares. Why? These are our babies. Can you imagine? I am a mother to I don't YouTube is so sensitive here lately. Um, I'm a mother to angels. Um, I'm a mother to children. They're here as well, but um, up until seven years ago, I was a mother only to three angels. And I know the pain of losing a child that you've never even met. Of losing a child that never even got to take a breath. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I know that even eight years later, my last one was eight years ago, even eight years later, I still long for that child. Just yesterday, I was telling my daughter that she has a brother. He might not be here, but she has a brother. Just because he's not here doesn't mean I'm not his mother and doesn't mean he's not my son and doesn't mean that she doesn't have a brother. She does, he's just not here. You know? And it still crushes me today. I still want my children. I wonder what they would have looked like. I wonder if, you know, they would be smart. I wonder, obviously, 
I wonder what their, you know, eye color would be. I wonder so much who they would have been, you know? Now imagine that, but then imagine that you got to spend five, six, seven years with these ch this child, and then poof, gone, out of your life. You don't even know where they're at. With my child, I at least know that they're resting. I know that they're gone and resting. But with a missing child, you don't know. I cannot imagine not knowing where my daughter was. I can't imagine not I can't imagine not being able to pull her and hug her for even one second of my life. I cannot imagine that. And then there's these people, I don't know how they're even human. There's these people that have such a black soul, no soul, that they can watch these children and wait for them to get far enough away from their parents to where their parents can't help them. They pick out the weak ones that don't have a lot of friends. They pick out ones that might have a broken home so they're looking for a parental figure and they will trust anybody that is a parental figure because they want that kind of attention so badly. These people are fucking sick. They will pick out the weak ones because I watched a, an interview with a predator that told his game, too. This was a while ago, but it's fucking sick how they, they pick these kids. It's like how wolves go for the baby calf because they know that she's not as fast and that if she falls behind, there's nothing the mother can do. It's sick, dude. And then my kids don't understand why... Well, Autumn, my younger one, it, she doesn't care. She she wants me to be out there with her. But my older daughter doesn't understand why we live in the country. We live down in a valley on a dirt road. Nobody... And there's no houses past ours. Like, ours is the last one. So there's literally no reason for anybody to come down in here unless they're going to uh, the sewage plant that's like way back in the woods um and our neighbor that's so like nobody comes down in here and even then I do not what time is it I don't allow um for my daughters to be out running by themselves the other kids in the neighborhood their parents let them run well, my, my one neighbor doesn't. He, her, their kid has to be with me or he's not outside. Or he's not allowed over this way. Um, but, you know, my kids don't understand why I won't just let them run. Um, and this is, the, this is why. This kind of shit is why. Because at any time, a predator could be watching and targeting any child. And you wouldn't know it. So, yes, I don't let her out of my sight. Yes, I don't let her. She was mad because on Halloween, she saw her friends trick-or-treating. And they were all, you know, running around by themselves. Not one parent in sight. And she took off with them. And we went through, I put up a video of it. But we went through that little haunted house. And when we came out, we were like, where's Punky? She wasn't with us. We thought she went in with us. Well, she didn't. And um, it took us about five minutes to find her. Um, and we were a little bit upset because she didn't say a word to us and, you know, took off with our friends that she saw and went trick-or-treating for a minute, which, you know what? That's fine. It would have been fine if we would have been able to keep an eye on her. But these kids were, like, being little... They were being crazy. They were, like, running from house to house. I think they were, like, running so that they could go to the next neighborhood and the next neighborhood because there's a couple neighborhoods, you know, right in a row. Um, which, cool. That's fine. Their parents weren't with them, so they can do whatever they want to, but not mine. Mine is going to be supervised. Mine is not going to be targeted. 
predators are going to be aware that this mama bear doesn't get far away enough from her kids for them to be, uh, you know, good pickings. Ever. I'm not saying that I'm the best mother in the world. I, I'm not saying that. And I'm not putting down any other any mother that, you know, doesn't keep as good of an eye on their children. Because different parents are different. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to give your kids. Because sometimes I probably should give patients a little longer of a leash. But I am a abuse vi survivor victim whatever I don't want to be called a victim I'm an abuse survivor myself and I know how much that it's messed me up even to this day I'm still fucked in the head because of it because of something happened that whenever I was 12 years old and I don't want that for anybody especially my own kids especially my own kids so she can be mad at me she, she wasn't mad, you know, once I, we explained to her, like, why, um, she was like, you know, she got a little pissy and whatever about it, but then she, you know, a few minutes later was like, I'm sorry for being snippy, you know, and we had a fun time, um, but I understand, you know, she's 11, she wants a little bit of space, but then again, at the same time, I saw, man, I don't know. I love my cousin to death, okay? And, I mean, she has no say in this because he's not her blood son. Um, and her son is almost 14. Um, but my cousin's stepson was the, at the same place we were. This place is like three miles down the road from where he lives. And my husband said, and um, Paige was like, oh, there's Da, da, da. can I trick-or-treat with him for a minute? And I was like, I don't care, you know, he can walk with us for a minute. Um, and so my husband was like, well, where's your dad? And he's like, I don't know if he thought we were going to tell on him or something, but he was like, oh, he, he, no, 